David Alvarez, council member from the city of San Diego, uh, representing the 8th council district and also chair of the environment committee at the city council uh, since I was elected in 2010. So I've been there for five years. It's been a fantastic opportunity to, to be involved with zero waste. And, uh, and so I wanted to start off by thanking you for the work that you do. And I saw a couple of folks from our staff from San Diego led by our director at ESD, um, uh, Director Sierra, who is here. I want to thank him and all the staff. Um, I thought I saw Cody here also, who does sustainability. Oh. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're focused on sustainability, obviously, at the city. But this has been something that's been going on for a while that, unfortunately, uh, for me, it took a little bit longer than I, than I hoped. Um, but we're here. We adopted a zero waste plan. Uh, back last year, which was integrated into the Climate Action Plan, which um, Cody is working on. And it really was a pathway uh, forward of how we were going to achieve the things that we wanted to achieve. I remember five years ago when I got elected, I have to give this shout out, I don't see here in the audience today, but uh, Councilwoman um, Esther Sanchez from the city of Oceanside, who uh, really talked to me about this for the first time and really got me excited about zero waste. And every time I would see her, it would be the topic of conversation. And she really inspired me back then to be focused on this. And it was a passion of mine as I chaired the committee. And I was so pleased that last year, finally, with, again, the hard work of city staff, put together something that was approved by the council uh, unanimously, by the way. These are our current figures. And this is sort of what the, the goals are as established by the plan, obviously trying to reach better numbers all the time, 90% uh, by 2035 and you know, zero waste by 2040. We all know technology has been advancing so significantly and, and the use of uh, recyclables continues to change. And so this is how the plan goes into effect and how you reach, we reached, in the case of City of San Diego, the 75% recommendations. And I have to start here with talking about our franchise haulers. I know some of them are here. I wanna thank them for really working with us on this. It was definitely a very difficult balance trying to achieve the needs of the zero waste goals with also trying to ensure that our partners and those who have supported uh, our work in San Diego were able to continue to provide the service that they provide. And, and how we were gonna get to that uh, took, took some uh, negotiations. And again, this is another area where I really wanna say kudos to, to our staff. So that's 93,000 uh, tons through a uh, 50% minimum through our new agreements with the haulers. AB 1826 does organic recycling in 20, by 2020, 120,000 tons. Construction and uh, demolition ordinance, which was so controversial only, gosh, I think 10 years ago or maybe a little bit more than that, but not that long ago, um, looking at how, and that's been so incredibly successful and how we can build on that success and continue to increase the um, diversion rate there. Um, the recycling ordinance, uh, looking at that, um, yard trimmings, the resource recovery center, a large, large ticket item, um, city facilities and making sure we have diversion of recycling by 50%. And then the last one, which I think is really critically important, I remember when I was a student at, uh, in elementary school, when the blue bins were introduced, it was tremendously impactful to me. Every time I talk about trash and, and diversion and recycling, um, I talk about this because I remember the blue bins coming in. I remember the instruction that went on. I don't remember what was said specifically, but it was really ingrained in my mind that the, you know, the blue bins were really important to help us recycle. And it, was just, it just became like normal in my, in my life. But I brought that back home because it wasn't something, it wasn't a, we didn't have a culture of recycling in my home. My parents were immigrants to this country coming from Mexico. You know, everything was to the landfill. There wasn't this thinking of recycling. And so I, I feel like I helped uh, educate my parents. And so I really believe strongly that there's a lot more that can be done on the education front, on the out outreach front, and also maybe with enforcement. And those are conversations that we're gonna have going forward, but the partners and the allies, and some of you are here, in helping us educate the community about why this is so important, um, I think is really critical, and I, I can't understate that. You know, this is gonna cost money, certainly, and these are some of the ways how we expect to, to cover some of those costs. We've just changed the um, adjustment to the fund for the closure of Miramar, while still protecting and ensuring that that closure is done in the correct way. Potential fees adjustments and other adjustments as you see here that could help us do all the actions that were in the previous item. 75% is the goal, but then you know, we're always looking at the next goal. And so that's gonna require more work beyond that. And so these are all sort of the ideas, the concepts. As I look through this, I, I don't see any in here that, that um, is, has been 
already instituted, but it's the sort of things that we want to do to ensure that we reach that, that diversion. Th that's my contact information for anybody that needs it. But I just want to say thank you for the work that's being done here. And if you were part of that, I want to say thank you, because I, I think we wouldn't be where we are as, as a city of San Diego and, and how much impact we have. Uh, hopefully others can, can learn from us and we can continue to be more efficient uh, and more effective in ensuring that we sustain um, what we have for a long, long time to come. It, it used to be uh, a thing uh, that was more aspirational. Hopefully what we've proven is that it's actually something that is, could, can be done. While we have a plan in place, there are steps that need to be taken, and I have full confidence that our staff will be able to be bring forward ideas and solutions to continue down this path. It's been uh, a great pleasure to see this through. I'm, I'm really excited, and I hope that we can achieve a lot, lot more.